Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. I just wanted to take a couple of moments here and show you guys one of the new products that we got in. This is a 2024 22B Four Winds. And the B stands for a little shout out to the late Stuart Scott, booyah. So all kinds of good stuff in there. So let's take a look at what we got here. First of all, we'll start here in the front. In the front here, you have your molded fiberglass front cap which will give you a nice clean look and give you a real sharp look, make it look good as it's going down the road. You can see you've got the lights up on the top there for you as well too. And then here in the front, you're on your Ford chassis, which is a 7.3 liter V8. It's 325 horsepower with 450 foot pounds of torque. So plenty of power to get you wherever it is you need to go to get up and down the mountains and see this great country of ours. So as we walk around, you can see it's on the E350 chassis. You come around here to the side, you have your six gallon gas electric water heater right here, which will run off of the gas or the electric either way. You have your 40 gallons of LP right there, so that way you can run your furnace, uh, your cooktop, your hot water heater. Here you have a 4,000 watt generator, which will run right off of your fuel line, which you have 55 gallons of fuel. And this will run right off of the fuel line. So if you, as long as you're not below a quarter tank, that'll power up and run everything inside of the coach for you. Run all your lights, run your air conditioning, run your TVs, whatever it is it may be that you have in there. Here you have your 30 amp power cord, which as you can see right here does have a little light for you. So if you have your power on, this will light up for you. If that light doesn't come on, means you have a problem with the, the, with the source. It is the marine grade detachable uh, cord right here for you, so it is all sealed, so you don't have to worry about any of the critters running up in there. Here's where you have your place for if the park you're at offers cable, you can just hook it up right there, and then you do have your wine guard antenna up on the top, so that way you can get just your regular air channels in for you as well. Here you have your city water connection, which on here you have 40 gallons of fresh water, 29 gallons of black, and 25 gallons of gray. The fresh water is what you'll drink, use for your shower. The gray water is what comes out of your sinks and out of your shower into the drain. And then the black water is from the stool. This here is for your black water flush. What you do with that is you take your hose, you hook it up to here, you open your black tank valve, which is back in the back there. And then that has little sprayers on the inside, so that way it'll go around and spray the tank out for you, so that way you don't have any false readings. Up here you have your gravity fill for your fresh water tank. So if you're not running off of the city water, you'll fill your, your fresh water tank and turn your water pump on, which you have 40 gallons of the fresh water. Here you have the outside shower, which does have hot and cold. So if you're out and around a venture and maybe get a little bit dirty, want to clean some fish, whatever it may be, you can do it right there. This is where you fill up right here is unleaded, unleaded fuel. Then back here, we have our outside storage. You have 30.9 cubic foot of outside storage on this coach. Okay, so you do have a light right there, which Mr. Cameraman, we have to turn the switch on on the inside, so that's why it's not coming on, which we'll show you once we get inside. But you can see it is all lined in the ABS right here. So that way you can put some wet goods in there, even if it's a nice hot day, you're having a big get together, whatever it is, fill that up with ice, put some drinks in there. Okay, so it's multi-purpose for you. Then down here, you can see this is where your drains are, okay? This is for your gray water, and then you have your black water on the other side, okay? So you just open those up. You wanna drain your black water first, and then do your gray water. Cause they have a way to clean it out for you. You do have your bumper here, which has these, it'll come off so you can stu store your sewer hose in here. Here's where you have your ladder. So your ladder, you can get up onto the roof and do your yearly maintenance. I believe Mr. Cameraman can take the camera up there and show you what's all up top there. Okay, you'll see that it's a TPO roof, which you do have the 12 year warranty. You can see your wine guard antenna up there maybe as well. And you can see your 15K air conditioner. Okay, and you can also see your 360 siphon vent, which has come out of the restroom for you. Okay, so once he gets done with the big walk around there, he's reaching up, showing you all the way around. So you can see it all. Okay, now we're back down to earth. Okay, then up here on the top, you also see that little black space right there that's in your uh, back of your light there. That's gonna be your backup camera. So when you're backing up, you can come back here and you can see what it is to help you park, or you can see so your wife or your partner can tell you which direction to go, and then you can say, no, we wanna go the opposite direction. So it's always fun. So you can always see everything back here. You do have your emergency exit window back here in the back. 
So that way you can pop this open and get out of some if you needed be to do that. Back here on the back, which is kind of nice, you have an 8,000 pound hitch. So you can tow, like we just had some folks here that had some motorcycles. If you want to put a trailer back there, take your bikes, put them into the trailer, tow them around. They're going out west to the Sturgis show, so it's a great way to do it. 8,000 pounds, you got your plug-in right there for you, so that way you can have all of your lights operate for you. Here's your license plate holder for you, which does have a little light right there for you, and the LED brake lights there for you, and you do have the lights up top for you as well. Okay, here you also have your patio awning. So your paddle awning will come out here and it is adjustable. So say if you leave and you wanna take it and you wanna change the pitch, you can do that right here. So that way you can lean it one way or the other and that way the water can run off for you. You have your LED lights right here. So when you're sitting out here talking about everything that you just saw, you have some nice lighting right there for you. So we'll give you some lights out here for you too. Then here you have some plugins. So if you wanna plug in your stereo or a radio or whatever it may be, you can do it right there for you. This is the back of your Dometic refrigerator here for you. Here you do have a little place, which again is lined in the ABS for some storage, okay? But you do have the ability to lock right there for you, okay? And this is on the Moorride chassis. So this, what they do is they take this chassis down to Moorride. Moorride will take the, the chassis itself and line it up so that way it's within one-tenth of an inch from being exactly straight, okay? So it's a nice little feature for you, okay? Then here you have your camp, your, uh, mirrors, which you have the smaller mirror so you can see your blind spot right here and then the bigger mirror right here for you. You'll notice it is all in the nice fiberglass, which gives you the nice clean look and it is all laminated for you as well. Okay, so let's, uh, you guys wanna go look inside? Okay. So there you have your door handle. You can see you do have the little screen door right here. So you can shut this off so that way the bugs don't get in for you and then still get a nice breeze in there for you if it's not too hot. Down here, this is where you have your house battery, right there, okay? Then right here, Mr. Cameraman, this is solar prepped for you. So that way, if you wanna get a solar charger on the top, you have all the prep work done right here for you. So that way you can run your lights or whatever it may be just off of the solar, okay? This is where you turn your battery off and on, right here. So when you're storing it, you just wanna turn it off. When you're using it, just turn it to on. Here's where you have the controls for your awning. So it is the power awning, okay? And then this is for your awning lights right here. And then you have your step light right here. And then this is the cargo light. So that way when you're outside, like we were just there, and if Mr. Cameraman were to push that light again, it would come on for you, okay? Then here you have some light switches right here, which will be your main lights right here. And then this is for, we haven't figured that out yet, but. Overhead. Oh, I'm sorry, this light right here. Oh. There we go. Now we figured it out, okay? You have a plug right, two plugs right here for you. And you do have a countertop extension. So if you need a little bit more room when you're cooking or whatever it may be, you can put this up and then that way you have the space. Here's where you have your command center. Okay, well, this is where you can start your generator. You can start on the outside as well too, but you can start it on the inside right here. You just prime it and then start it up and this will give you how many hours are on it. And then this here will tell you your levels of everything you have for your LP, how your battery is, your fresh water, your black water, and then your gray water. And then here, remember I told you you had the gas or the electric for the, for the hot water heater. This is where your switches are here if you wanna run on the electric or you wanna run on the LP. This is to turn your water pump on. So that way if you are dry camping, just turn that on and then the water will pump throughout the coach for you. This does have the black tank heater on it and the gray heater, okay? So that way if you're in some cold weather, just turn that on. You got heating pads on the bottom of the tanks, so that way they won't freeze up for you, okay? So come on in, Mr. Cameraman. We'll start here in the kitchen. You have a nice high-rise faucet with a pull-out sprayer, so you can get it here. It comes with a nice dish strainer right here with the farmer's sink, so it's a nice deep sink there for you as well too, okay? Now, one thing Four Winds does for you is they have four apps and one membership, which it will give you one year free with your RV purchase. And this will be the Camp Dium, the Road Trippers, the RV Village, and To Go RV. It all comes for free for one year right from Thor. Then after that, they have a small little membership fee. Here in the kitchen, you do have the, the window right here for you, which is a slider window so that we can get a nice airflow. And then you do have the shades here, which you can open and shut in order to allow some um, light to come in or if you want to block the light. You got the countertops right here. Up here, we have some storage, but you do have some shelves so you can put some things in there. Then up here, you have some more storage. And then there's where you can hook up if you have the satellite or whatever it may be will run down through here for you, okay? 
Then you do have your microwave right here. That way you can do some popcorn or just reheat some stuff. Do it right there. There you have some more storage. Here's where you have the light for your cooktop here. And then you do have the fan right here for you as well too. You do have a three burner cooktop right here, which is will fold up here and that will kind of act as a backsplash for you. And then you can just turn them here and they'll automatically light for you. And then you do have the oven in there. So if you want to do some pizza, whatever it may be, reheat it, you can do it there. Then here you have some more storage right there. Okay, then here we have our dinette. This coach here, they say it sleeps four, but I'm going to disagree with them. I say you can sleep up to at least six. So you got your overhead bunk here, which you do have the two cup holders right there. And this is your little guard here so you don't fall out. Okay, then you have your TV, which is on a swing arm, which will swing out for you and show you out here. Okay, and then you can take this portion off. So if you're driving, you don't have to have that over the top of you. Okay. So we're up top and then you do have the window there so that we can open it up and get some airflow. Here you do have the fantastic fan, which does have three speeds. So what's that do for you? You open that up. If it's not too hot, open up your windows. And that'll help circulate the air throughout the coach. So that way you can keep it cool and just get some of the nature's wind there for you. Okay, then down here, we have some more storage. Okay, and then here with your um, nightshade, you can open this up and then here you have another emergency exit here for you as well so that way you can have a nice slider window open this window up open that nice big slider window up and get a very good airflow here you have two cup holders for you then here you have your wireless charger which you can do right here okay you just take this off and then there you got your plug in so that way you can charge your phone up for you okay this table here too will break down you know set right on these bars you can take these cushions and move them over and then that way it'll give you another sleeping area for you okay then up here we have some more storage so you got quite a bit of storage in a little 22 foot class c okay you got it there this cameraman's going to show you all the way through okay got nice lights there you have another place where you can charge your phones whatever it may be okay then here we have some more shelving and some more shelves up here for you as well okay so let's do a fan favorite okay let's just take a look at something here okay here you have a place you can keep your wash your uh, rags when you're washing the dishes some more doors there some more doors here so back to the fan favorite let's just take a look here we've have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, whoa, 15, 16, huh, 17, oh, no. I know, 17 doors and drawers in just the little kitchen area. That's pretty amazing. I think I counted that one too. So 17 doors and drawers. Pretty amazing for a little 22 foot trailer. So we can take everything with you that you want. Here you have your gas electric refrigerator. So this will run off of the gas or the electric. Here's where you turn it off and on right here. Then you do have where you can run on just the gas side or you can do on auto. So what auto will do for you, is say for example, you don't have an electric source, you don't have your generator running or whatever it is. Then if you have it on the auto, it'll automatically go to the LP for you. But then when you go to plug in or you turn your generator on, then it'll automatically switch over to the electric for you. Okay. Then here, now let's show you up in the front here because we got to turn something on here. As you can see, this is just your basic front uh, Ford truck front. Here's another nice little feature for you that you won't see a lot of other places. As you're out shopping around, look at this. Just camera in. You're out shopping around and you're looking for this little 22B Booyah. You might want to ask your salesman, hey, do you got one of them with 50 miles on it? Now, when they just kind of look at you with that blank stare and just like, huh? huh? Where am I? No, this is about the only place in the country that that can happen. Under 100 miles. Why is that important? You're going to be the very first person to put the first critical miles on this coach. Not somebody who gets paid to get from here, the greater Michiana area, to wherever the dealer is. Are they sleeping in it? Are they smoking in it? Are they taking their pets with them? I don't know. What's going on? What are they doing at the truck stops? <laughs> Great question. Something you can ask your salesman, okay? So remember that, 50 miles, that's it, okay? 
So what I'm going to do, so we can put the slide out for you. When you want to put the slide out for you, you got to start your motor, turn your battery on there for you, okay? Then you wait a little bit, and then we come back here, and then here, I don't know if Mr. Cameron can show you, but it'll say extend and retract. So we're going to hit extend, and then this here is going to open up for you. Okay, so now you have a nice queen bed. Look at all the windows that's in this little area here for you. You have the big window in the back, two windows on the side that you can open up in order to get airflow. Okay, so now we have the slide all the way out. We just flip this mattress down, and now we have our queen bed. And we can still get around the bed, and get to everything that we want. Okay, then back here, you have a place here that you can put a TV if you want to do a bedroom TV. Here's your hookup so that we can run off of the antenna. We're back here in the bedroom area. Again, we have another fantastic fan with three speeds. Just open that up, and then that way you can get some good airflow through the coach if you don't want to run the air conditioning. Then back here, you have some more storage. Look how deep that storage is. Okay, so you got three more doors right there. Okay. So you can store everything right there. You got the nice headboard in the back. Gives you a nice, sharp, clean, residential look. Here's where you have your light switch for your bedroom. Okay. Then we come back here. Look at this. More storage. And there's your ladder right there. That's a retractable ladder. So that way when you want to get up into the bunk up front, just take that ladder out and it'll come there. We actually did miss something, which would actually make 18. So that's 17 plus one in the kitchen. More storage right there. And then also a little mirror so you can see just how beautiful you actually are. It's all right there. Okay. So look at here in the bedroom. Remember we had 18 doors and drawers in just the living area up front there. Hi, Mr. Cameraman. Okay. So here in the bedroom area, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more doors and drawers. So if my math is correct, in this little 22-foot trailer, we have 24 doors and doors. Pretty amazing. So Mr. Cameron, look up here. In this little 22-foot trailer, we have a 15K forced direct air. So you just open this up, turn your air conditioning to the temperature that you want. The air will blow out this way and blow out this way. Here's where you can change your filters for you. You can do that right here. Okay, so you got plenty of air. Then we come back here. When you're out camping, after a nice day, you might want to take a shower. You might have to use the restroom. Well, guess what? There's a restroom in here. Okay, which we have a nice little bathroom sink. Here's where I was telling you when Mr. Cameron was up there showing you, you have your 360 siphon vent. See what that says? Smell that? Well, of course you don't. Because you got the 360 siphon vent. A little medicine cabinet right there. Again, you have a nice little fan here, not the fantastic bigger fans that we had over the cab and then in the bedroom area, but you can open this up and then get some air circulation through here. Here you do have a porcelain stool, okay? So it's gonna be very easy for you to clean. And it is the foot flush, so you just do it right here. There you have your toilet paper holder. Here you have your shower, okay, which is nice, good size. And you still have the skylight up over the top. Nice thing that I like to show people on this, this here is what they call the shire, shower meister. So what will the shower meister do for you? Well, see this little blue tube right here? Okay. Instead of normally when you would go, you would turn your water on, let it run, get to the temperature that you want. Right? So what's happening on it during that? Well, remember the gray tank? You got 25 gallons of gray. If you're doing that, then how much water is going in there and just filling up your gray tank for no reason? So... Turn your shower meister on. Once this changes colors, it'll tell you that you're at the desired temperature. Then you turn it on and you can just use your shower right away. No, just wasting water. Okay. Little place here in order to store all of your toiletries. Okay. And you do have the shower curtain right here for you. Okay. So this is our 22B 2024 four wind. Might ask, hey, Mr. Cameraman, RV Whisper, is there a sale price on that? Yes, there is. It's 89.9 for 2024. It is a fantastic buy. A lot of people ask, because we're not a big dealer. We're just a small family-owned dealership where you come in as strangers and you leave as friends. So, how long does that sale last? Well, once this gets sold, sale's over. Because we don't have any more. 
we've got them on order so that's how long it lasts okay so it's 89.9 give us a call we're at m60 rv you can see us at m60 rv.com visit us there we we'll have all the pictures we'll have this wonderful video up for you as well too if you happen to see something put in the comment section hey i would like to look at another rv or hey could you show me something specific on that particular rv we'll be more than happy to do that okay so if you're still here folks we appreciate you watching and don't forget come in as strangers leave as friends you're part of the family from our family to your family we want you to go out and see this great country okay thank you have a great day